Hey guys, so I wanted to do another quick video today on why we use infinite banking as our warehouse for cash, okay? And the way I can describe this is, first of all, knowing that infinite banking is not an investment. It's simply a savings vehicle. It's a, it's a warehouse for cash. It's not uh, an investment in which we're trying to go in and earn a higher rate of return, okay? This is just a location in which we house our cash before we go and deploy into an investment or into some type of, of higher risk. Where here, in a savings vehicle, in any savings vehicle, you have money sitting somewhere earmarked for a purchase, okay? So when we look at a savings account, we have these six attributes on the left-hand side that I would venture to say that everybody would agree would be the ideal savings vehicle, okay? And these are the most important attributes that people happen to say is competitive rate of return, safety, guaranteed, you can't lose money, liquidity, no Uncle Sam, it's tax-free, creditor protection, and then uninterrupted compound interest, which that's, well, I'll get into that. But um, most people uh, don't think about that last one, but that's really the most important thing when it comes down to infinite banking. But let's just get into this really quick. Let's compare these in these three columns, which I have the tax today account, the tax deferred or tax tomorrow account, and then the, the tax never account, which is infinite banking. But let's look at this first column here, the tax today account. Let's let's pull this up. So does it get a competitive rate of return? I would venture to say that your savings account at Regions Bank or really any other financial institution is throwing off peanuts. I mean, 0.2%, 0.5%, whatever the number is, um, it's not very much. And it's simply rotting away to inflation, as you know, the runaway inflation that we're experiencing or we're going to experience. Um, it's just going to eat away at the value of your dollar, if you understand that. Uh, is it safe? Can you lose? Is it guaranteed? Yes. If you go down to this bank and you say, hey, uh, I need to get out $1,000, they're going to be able to get you that money. So it's the same thing. It's liquid too. You can go down to the bank and get that money um, relatively immediately. I mean, obviously, if you ask for 50000 in cash, it's going to be different, but I'm talking smaller numbers like 1000 bucks. Is it tax-free? No. Savings, money market, CEs, those are actually, in the tax law, the last dollar in. So you have this earned income right here, let's say $100,000, and you go and earn even peanuts in your savings account. It goes on the very top of your saving, of your earned income, so you're taxed at the highest rate on that number. Is it creditor protected? No. Obviously, we know that's why everybody... Um, Puts their, puts their investments in LLCs to protect yourself from litigation. And then uninterrupted compound interest. If you have $100,000 in an account and you go and take $40,000 out, are you earning on $100,000? No, because you've taken it out where um, you're only earning on the $60,000, whatever's left. So you, you've interrupted the compound interest inside of that savings vehicle. Okay, Let's look at tax deferred accounts or tax tomorrow accounts, which is your 401ks, your IRAs, your SEPs, um, all of those entities that you're parking with Uncle Sam or those qualified investments. And again, these are called investments. This is not a savings vehicle. This is investing. You're, you park your money in an account that has market risk. So you're taking on risk in these tax deferred accounts, okay? And and I'll just go into this. I've done a video on this already, but I wanted to just hammer home that unfortunately these tax deferred accounts are some of the the, the most unfortunate and, and bad business deals that anybody can really do. And let me explain. If you went into business with somebody, if I asked you to go into business with me, let's just say that uh, I would be Uncle Sam. I asked you, I need you to put up all the capital. I need you to take on all the risk. I need you to pay someone to manage our business or manage our investment. And then in 30 years, I haven't had to do anything, but I'm going to come back and say, hey, I get to choose how much of the equity position or split that I get on the back end. Are you going to take that deal? Probably not, but that's what 90% of everybody does because that's what Uncle Sam is doing. He's making you, he's letting you have tax deferred money grow in exchange for down the road pay the tax. And I could mathematically show you that that's, you're getting ripped off, but that's neither here nor there. I wanted to go back into why infinite banking is, is the best savings location, not investing, savings. Is it getting a competitive rate of return? We hope so. We hope that you parked money in an investment to achieve a higher rate of return. So is it safe? No, you can lose money. The market goes up and down. Doesn't matter if you're Warren Buffett or Jimmy Buffett. Nobody knows if the stock market's going up or down, especially a stockbroker. Is it liquid? No, you will know that Uncle Sam doesn't allow you to touch that money until you're 59 and a half. He makes these rules for a certain reason. Don't know if you should be partnering with him when it comes to uh, when Uncle Sam's allowed to make all the rules. 
Is it credit or protected? It actually is credit protected. If someone was to sue you, they can't go after your qualified investment money. And then is it uninterrupted compound interest? When you begin to withdraw that money from your account or your 401k or IRA, whatever it is, is, is the money still earning for you even when it left? The answer is no. You know that already. So let's get into the tax never or the IBC account and why this is the most efficient and best warehouse for savings, not investing, savings. Are you getting a competitive rate of return? We're getting 4% guaranteed rate of return on our uh, infinite banking policies. And we'll also get a dividend on the back end. So it ends up coming anywhere between 4.5% and sometimes even higher depending on interest rates. Is it safe? Yes, you you contractually cannot lose money. They're guaranteed to always grow every single year as, as long as the premiums are paid. It's a unilateral contract. Is it liquid? Absolutely. That's the best part of the whole thing. Anytime that you need money from this, you call up your broker and say, hey, I need, you call me up. You call up anybody in our office and say, hey, I need $20,000 to go and purchase a vehicle or whatever it is. The money hits your account in 48 hours. Is it tax-free? That's the, that's the beauty of this thing. All the growth inside of this policy is 100% tax-free. Once you put money in this thing, it grows into oblivion forever with no Uncle Sam. Is it credit protected? Yes. That's why some of the biggest players in the world, the banks, these corporations, they park millions and billions of dollars in these things because they know that if they're ever to be sued by somebody, that the litigator cannot touch any of their assets inside of these contracts. And then the most important and the last thing is the uninterrupted compound interest. The amazing thing is you have to be open-minded with this. If you've got $100,000 of cash value in this contract, when you go and borrow from yourself $40,000, you're actually not removing your money. You're borrowing from the insurance company. So the insurance company, and I won't explain it in this video, but they lend you their money and your money keeps growing as if it never left. So you're actually able to go and take that 40000 go buy a piece of real estate, or go buy a car, or go buy whatever you want to do, go on, go to Disney World, whatever it is, and that $100,000 keeps trucking along like it never left. So you're now you're able to go and build two assets at once rather than just taking your money out and dropping it, interrupting the compound curve, and then not allowing your money to really grow, grow as much as it probably could have or should have if you would have been in a tax today or tax deferred account. If, you're, if this is something that you're interested in learning more about, leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel. I'm, I'm, I'm interested in just building out content for you guys um, that is that is valuable to you. I want to I want to bring value. So if there's any way that you can write me a question or a comment or just anything that's going to spur on more questions or more, more videos, I'd love to do it. So um, looking forward to having you guys. Thank you.